Today I'd like to walk you through a caribou light six and a half foot. We call it the caribou light because it is extremely light, weighs 775 pounds. This particular unit is made for a full size truck, Ford, Chevy, Dodge, short bed. Uh, we make them for long bed, eight foot, eight foot units. We make them um, for Toyota Tacomas, Nissan Frontiers, uh, Dodge Dakotas, any, any truck. Um, but it's extremely lightweight, uh, extremely well made. The, the structure is made just like all outfitters. It's a uh, welded aluminum frame, vacuum bonded together with urethane adhesives. Uh, we don't believe in a loose frame construction because uh, any weld that moves will break. Um, but this is a uh, Caribou Light 6.5. Uh, we'll kind of do a quick walk through. We're in our showroom, which is small, so uh, you know we'll get what we can on it. The roof is an aluminum frame roof, uh, made the same way, vacuum bonded. You could walk anywhere you wanted up on that roof. Uh, it's really strong, really lightweight. Uh, the soft wall we use is a Weblon uh, soft wall, which is a 18 ounce fabric that's extremely strong. It has webbing inside, doesn't change in any temperature. Um, it folds really well. It uh, lasts and lasts. I've never had to replace the soft wall because it ever wore out. Most uh, pop ups that you see that outside material is usually vinyl or they have other kind of fabrics, but uh, Weblon has been a proven fabric. It's UV protected. It's a super strong, extremely well made. Um, that's why we use it. It's ex very expensive, but it's well worth it. Um, this particular unit, all of our outfitters, this um, comes standard with a refrigerator. We don't use ice boxes. We just use refrigerators and everything. It's a three-way refrigerator. It has four post jacks. Uh, as standard. Um, as you notice this camper is just freestanding. Uh, you can use it off the truck anytime you want. I guess a lot of people call me and ask me can the camper be used off the truck. Yes it can. I'm surprised that campers that can't be. I don't know what it does in the bed of a truck but if it can't support itself off the truck I don't know how it supports itself in a truck. So uh, all of our outfitters are made so you can use them off the truck. Um, refrigerator vents for the refrigerator. Um, this is where the uh, propane stores. We're in a showroom, so I'm, we're not allowed to have a tank in here. Um, the uh, these two things are the front ones, the heater vent. The rear one is the fill for the tank. Um, there's four windows on our soft wall, on two on each side. Pretty good sized windows. Uh, this is uh, walking around in here. Like I said, we're in the showroom, so it's tight. Um, this is the front end. Eight inch thick cab over on this model. It's extremely low, lightweight again. Has a full sliding window that would match the truck. Um, let's go around the side here and we'll go inside and I'll show you a couple of things. It has. Uh, a six foot six inch long dinette, 40 inches wide, makes a nice size bed. Um, or you can sit four people around the di the table. The um, you know you'll have people since that makes a pretty good size bed that will come with you. So you really need room for at least three. So we made it seat four. Uh, down below is a big area for a porta potty if you'd like or you can order them with a cassette toilet. Um, this is the refrigerator. It's a three-way refrigerator as you can see inside here. Step inside. It's got a uh, progressive dynamics 45 amp converter. It's got the uh, three-stage charge wi wizard built into it, so it charges the battery extremely well. You put a stabilizer over here on the table, makes it very, very, very firm. You can try and move it, and it's really firm. It's got a nice 
big window on the side. Uh, this is our lift system. Um, as you can see, it's metal. It's it's got a torsion rod inside this white bar, a good sized torsion rod that helps push up the top when you push it up and down. We'll put the top up and down here in a minute. Um, these cords that you see right up front here and on each bar on the lift system, pull in the lift system when you or pull in this fabric when you let the top down. Uh, works really well. You shouldn't have to tuck in any fabric at any time. Um, has four interior lights, two up front, two in the back. Uh, fantastic fan, to standard in all of our units. Uh, regular 1414 vent in the front, which you could add another fantastic fan in there if you'd like. Um, this is the pull out for the uh, bed. You take this cushion right up front here and put it down in here and it makes into a queen bed. Right now the cab over is a fixed 54 inch cab over so if you're just going to go up fishing by yourself you don't necessarily have to use that if you didn't want to but if somebody's with you it's great to have make it into a queen bed. Uh, down below here is where the battery stores. If we can either put a 24 series or a 27 series 12 volt battery. It has a uh, 110 outlet and a 12 volt outlet down below. We put 12 volt outlets because a lot of people like to plug in computers, cell phones, things like that. Uh, 16,000 BTU forced air furnace. Uh, thermostat for the furnace. Electric water pump. Uh, molded uh, granite looking countertops or fiberglass are extremely lightweight. Uh, three burner stove with a piezo ignition. It has a vanity up in this area. So I just thought I'd show you through this. I'll put the top up and down and we'll see how that works. Alright, we'll go inside and I'll put the top up and down.